Every day I come in, I I'm like, you're being very polished, actually. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh my God, these nights in the century, yeah. just like what yeah, in the you. hell? What I think that will come up in our conversation. Maybe yeah, okay. oh, we got plenty of time too. Um, I've seen that yeah. you've got on after as well, which is lovely because I think they're friend. they're not on till they're not on for what another two hours though. I yeah, think. So. I think. Let me see. Yeah, they're not on for two hours, and then two hours yeah. after that is that gathering. I'm gonna. Wow. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm yeah, just gonna. I'm staying up for that. So I'm yeah, I'm just gonna moderate. I'm gonna moderate it. Um, I don't know what's going. Uh, everything this morning since I've been up, and I've been up a while, has been blurry. I had recall last night of of being. Okay, hang on. Let me see here. So, <clears throat> we were on the earth in physical form. We did not have, the world wasn't like it is right now. We had the ability to be anywhere we wanted to be, <clears throat> anywhere we wanted to be with whoever we wanted to be. We had the ability to manifest instantly. And everywhere I went, there was a golden light. There was a golden light, like sunlight, except for this was a golden light. It happened to me. This golden light has come in. It came in. Okay, it came in when I came off the street. I remember I had this episode. Then it happened out at the bayou. The whole bayou went golden light. And then it's happened a few other times. Yesterday, it happened to me twice. I was doing the show with Franco and the whole room in here went golden light and it happened to me one other time yesterday. But anyway, in this dream, in this lucid dream, it was like, it was like, okay, it was like, if your physical experience, let's say most of us, we live alone, we get on the internet, you know, we talk to friends, we post, right? The way the earth was in this lucid dream was if a person did those things that we normally do every day, every single person that they would come into contact with, send a message to, every person that they came across their energy would be in front of them. Almost like a hologram. It was almost like a hologram, but it wasn't. Or it could it could be physical if you wanted it to be, but it was almost like a hologram. So I don't know what the hell is going on in the earth. Do you? <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> I'm here, I'm gonna, uh, non, I'm gonna, non, okay, only what's here right now and it's the <clears> same it's it's like literally it's hour by hour and minute by minute uh you listen. know um nothing is predictable you can feel the waves coming in but what they're going to do and what what's happening is, i mean for me it's the same todd like my whatever we call perception or we yeah. may have thought was perception or enhanced perception seems very much more easy and liquid than you could have possibly imagined yeah. it to be. And it seems to be like that more and more and more, but coupled with absolutely washed out body, achy bones and needing yeah. to take a lot of resting Space to integrate as well but it's 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 really some of the things that have happened this week i would say are like a science fiction film thank you you can't I, you, I'm you, like, you can't yeah. find words for it either the words thank you yes really thank you very much because i thought i i literally today i'm up for the last two three hours <clears throat> and i'm like what the f is wrong with me like it, it, I feel like I'm in, in momentarily in a place that I don't belong. Okay, the, how do I how do I make this? How do I bring this back to what you're saying? It's like okay, so it's like the this has never happened to me before. That everything that's very human today is really pissing me off, and I don't I don't even get pissed off anymore. And it's not like angry. I'm just like going. I don't have time for that. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. You know, I mean, it's like, 
it's like sleeping, sleeping, eating, bathe, you know, brushing, you know, all these human things, they're getting on my nerves, right? What is that? <laughs> but it's just another day in the week here, right? I mean. Yeah, I think we're just, we're bit, I think potentially the what I'm feeling is that we're, we've been talking about embodiment, which is obviously getting all our parts together. And we've, or, you know, lots of us have worked very hard on working with integration. And we've kind of gone past that, even though that's still a way of life. That is, it's just a way of life. You don't so much need, it's not a process. It's not a big thing. So now the light body is being actualized by these cosmic waves and the earth and in solar waves all in combination and it's like a perfect storm and i and i really honestly i've got to just be really honest here because i just feel like our light body is really unleashing and igniting inside of our physical bodies and it's of the physical thing just feels a little bit strange when you've gone into that plasmic field if it, it, i'm the same i'm struggling with day-to-day -day activities um particularly anything that involves any kind of logic I like putting a video together <laughs> I, right exactly right i made my first I, I made my first one i actually made two last week and i hadn't done them in like two or three years it was like a, it was like a foreign language again i stepped into i stepped into a space really two spaces yesterday i, I went out uh, and I don't, I haven't done that. You know, I just haven't been going anywhere. I've probably, probably gone like two places since Morgan left to go to the grocery store or something. I walked into these two places and <clears throat> it, it, oh, so one was a, one was a restaurant, but I sat at the bar, I had a beer and some gumbo and, and I literally felt like an alien. Like, like I could not relate to anyone or anything. Everything looked weird and out of place. I know this sounds crazy, but it, I, yeah. I, 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 it and I went, sound crazy, <laughs> I, I, it, I was playing it, yesterday. Were you really? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm a too. okay. I, I don't really go out in, I don't really go out in uh, what regular, would it, we would have called regular space. I don't really do that much anymore. I yeah. tend to go out in nature. I, when yeah. I go out, I like to be in nature and, or with people I like and with my friends. So I went to the city. Uh, where I live and it's very very busy to a shopping center and the experience I've had in the shopping center was I mean I felt things like that before it's not new but this time it was amplified and I felt that I could see it and I was walking in it and interacting with it so my hands were interacting with things but I didn't feel like I was wondering whether any of it was real a little bit and whether it <clears throat> whether it would be there for much longer in the way that it was it felt like it was kind of it had no energy it was sort of empty I, it's hard to explain no 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 it, i'm with you i'm with you i think i think this is the like it was empty yeah. and i was fine being in it i didn't mind it i was buying some clothes i mean i was uh -huh. just buying some clothes and i was just like oh here i am buying some clothes and it felt like I was in a sort of holographic simulation um, with people walking past. That's and I can see geometry and stuff. When I did, can see geometry did, in buildings. So it's a little bit. When did that know, happen to you? Things. It's a when bit did weird. This, was that this week? Was it this week? Yes. Oh, it's, that's been happening for about four or five years with the sort of seeing through the energy matrix. That's just something yeah. that happens spontaneously okay. but the feeling that i'm talking about which is what i feel you were talking about sharing that feeling of it's like it's not a disconnection it's just i can't find the right words but i can't either uh, you you like almost you're in your body fully you're not out of your body yeah. but the energy that you're interacting with and you know you're interacting with has right. got zero right. pull there's no pull there's nothing yes okay okay yes pulling. there was no triggering yeah. there was no desire it was just yeah. neutral okay. okay see this is what we have to do we have to talk about it. So i i think it, first of all i think it's amazing that i just brought this up and you said it's happening to you i saw a post 
this morning from Sandra Walter talking about, don't even ask me what it said, but I can just energy. I know it was like about this moment, about this week, about this month. And, and the only thing I remember seeing, she said that the, the word that was in her, I guess in her diary for this month was consistency. So that I, I thought, okay, I'm going to remember that. Now I'm talking to you and, and I'm, and I'm actually realizing what I just went through because of what you just said. So I was, when I was sitting at the bar, eating a bowl of gumbo, drinking a beer, the only thing I have to say, the only things that, that registered was the, the soup and the beer. That was it. The, the spoon, the, every, the chair, the people, the, none of it, it. It was almost like I was, I was invisible. But they were, but they were seeing me, but I felt like I was invisible. I felt like I was like somebody just stuck me in there. I, I don't know how to, you know what I mean? You go. <laughs> yeah. I did, um, I was writing a code. It's not one of the videos. I was writing a code in Glastonbury in this beautiful little cafe mm -hmm. and I sat down, it was last summer and I was just involved in what I was doing. So I wasn't paying attention to the time and I'd ordered when I went in. And an hour later, my order hadn't came, hadn't come. So I, I asked somebody and they were really surprised to see me. And I gave them my order again and they apologised. And another half an hour later, nothing had happened. And it's literally like they're walking past me and they didn't see me. And they said they didn't see me at all. So I'm, I, I don't know why that happens, it, but I know it happens to a lot of people. <clears throat> I believe that. Um, kind of phase in and out. Yeah. You're not necessarily i feel like that a lot actually i just to be honest like when i'm walking around i was in london a few weeks ago um and it's really you know it's heavy it's heavy energy is it really is it is it really oh, I, i've never been there but i mean is it very, is it because it's a crowded i mean london's london's a big city i mean it's crowded right? it is, I mean, like, but the energy is um how could i say it you know with the signage and the types uh, of Psyop programming is very yeah, and they and I read where they have in London yeah over say like in other places in England it's a it's a very very heavy and dense energy and it's also where all the seat of all the monarchy is so there's you know without raising the energy it's quite an intense place to be but also that's sometimes where I'm called to go <laughs> and to do things so when I'm walking around I often feel like I'm close in a kind of energy shield or a, like a ball of light of moving geometry and i don't feel i feel like i'm there but i'm kind of in a living light ship moving around and people don't really notice that it's like you're there but you're not there it's the same feeling but it's i don't feel it is it used to freak me out but no i just feel that's okay um, but the new feeling is what you were describing. It's like mm. you're, you know, you know, I know an object's an object because my brain is making it into an object and identifying with it. But for all intents and purposes, I feel like often I'm in lots of places as well. But uh. I'm not necessarily aware of all those places, but it's like you can feel the energy working. You can feel that there's other dimensions in this yeah. dimension in this place just phase shifted out and you're kind of all of it really it's weird <laughs> it's, I it's can't, it, i'm not finding the right way <laughs> no you're doing a great <laughs> job you're doing it you're doing things. yeah you're doing a great job uh, in, in fact i just want to tell you too you look absolutely fantastic i don't know what you've been doing since the last time we talked but you look absolutely fantastic uh and i'm seeing people some people i'm seeing are like that I won't mention any more names because you know, people I see on the show are, are, and I'm like, wow. So there's something to that too. But what you were saying, what you were saying, this is so weird that you explain what I'm, what I'm trying to come to terms with. And, and what it is, is it's weird because I'm more present. Like I'm more present, but the more present I am, the less, I feel like I'm attached or, or uh, um, I, I, the more of that feeling I have that I'm, I'm like out of place and maybe it's yeah. the, maybe it's the sensitivity of the other 
the other aspects of it. Yeah, a slight slowing of there's something with the temporal fields as well, because that's something I've um, I don't, I don't know anything. I, you know, like I, I find that I like Doctor Joe, but a girl Doctor Joe sometimes. And I start talking about genomics and t temporal fields and all kinds of sort of physics things, and I've got no idea about these things. It just comes out of my mouth, and then I and then I look at what comes out of my mouth, and I'm like, where the, the Jesus is that? Which aspect is sitting with me saying all that stuff? Uh, so the the time for me feels like inside. That you ask me why, like I feel like I look different, and it, and it's it's I think it's to do with time and slowing of time mm. down inside. There's something to do with the temporal field and the way we oscillate, so that our the polarity is less polarized, and we're more mm. in the zero point, and that's the way of being. Mm. Rather than you know, we try and strive for it, we try and look for mm. it. We're we practice all the right things and do all the right things that we think are the right things. But when it comes down to it, chilling out with yourself and learning to love yourself, that's the most compassionate grace you can ever give. Yeah. Is that. So what's happened that you asked me is I started to really unconditionally love myself as yeah. I am without trying to change myself and something clicked. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was always trying to be living up to something like an ideal of what I should be as a good human. Because all I ever, oh God, I'm getting emotional. All I ever wanted to do was was just show up for myself and learn to yeah. love myself. Yeah. So, I could serve, you know, not serve even, but just show up in the world wholly. I wanted to show up wholly, wholly, mm -hmm. yeah. wholly my holy being that I felt inside and authentically me. And I haven't been able to do that until the last three or four months and yeah. feel okay with it. So not worry about whatever does come out or whatever I need. There's nothing I need to do. It's just mm -hmm. I'm showing up from my soul. So I'm whatever flows every day is where I'm at. And it makes business hard, you know, and it, it can drive people up the wall sometimes because you're not mm. consistent in the way they want you to be in, in the controlling type of way. Mm -hmm. But I'm authentic to the universe and I mm. feel so much more because of it, because of setting all that away, all that busyness. It's opened up mm. this miracle place of just feeling nothing that I can say in words but what I try to do in the video with showing what through the codes through visual and things through the soul what that connection actually is of the living light that I feel with the diamond light collective that pure light connection that's yeah. it it doesn't make you a happy being it makes you an honest yeah it's it's yeah you're right I, and all the words go away and yeah it's like you it's like it's like okay and i'm talking about since Ma march mid-march equinox whatever but and it's not been a one day thing it's just been this new type of experience and it's like it's like waking up and going where am i <laughs> What am I doing? What do I want to do? What do I need to do? Like, like we have this awareness and there's still, I would say like big, big chess pieces on the board that are very important, that are prominent in our lives and in our journey to a higher alignment, the human part. Somebody said, somebody said they were in a group and uh, they said, just, just living and 3D is not a dirty word. It's beautiful. So there's all like like that comment. There's there's all this this fresh epiphany and revelation and understanding coming in. And, the, and and because of that, you walk into a bar, order some gumbo and beer, and sit down, and it's like you're not even there. That, literally, I there was three, there was two waitresses or a bartender, there was two people over here, there was one over here. Nobody said anything to me. I'm sitting there by myself. They're not doing anything. 
and I had to flag them down every time. And it wasn't because they were rude or irresponsible or just not good workers. It, and that's just a, a description of the energy that you're talking about, right? So yeah, are we are we to get to you? Are we to get? Is it going to remain this way? It, it yeah. seems like. It, I mean, what are you? What are your thoughts on that? I had a sort of a return question. I was batting back and said, "I was going to ask you." Yeah, it's not, I know it's, it, yeah. it's just a conversation. So the something that I noticed, like thinking about the being in the restaurant and people are walking around. So the waiters and waitresses, you know, they're doing the job, but you're kind of not in the um, <laughs> flow space, dimensional mm. band. You know, so it's hard for them to reach you because you're sort of floating around somewhere, but you're physically there, but they can't see you. So I noticed that also when I've, I've been observing people a lot recently. So there's something about the focus of our focus somehow is going into soul. So it's like an antenna that's gone um, and all the fields are working, but there's a mm. lot of humans where it's gone the other way and it's like it's the other way <laughs> what and do you mean they're in a na very narrow focus so like the f the range has gone very small okay like the other way um gone very small i think it's probably to create pressure like a pressure cooker yeah yeah you yeah. know yeah, yeah, I, got you. Blow, I got you, you need yeah. to have a bit of pressure yeah. which is what we're i think we're observing that in the world mm -hmm. everywhere that pressure cooker so it can turn, it can move. Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be uh, yeah. But I think people are doing it too. Human beings are doing it too. And they won't know they're doing it because I, you know, I was like that too. I created pressure in loads of areas of my life, subconsciously drove behaviors and events and relationships in pressure points to blow mm. those things open right. so that I can do it. So the pressure of the narrowing of the field, and you can see why, because it's like you go out and you're under fire from constantly from the bullets of, of uh, tannoy announcements and signage and everything coming at you. So people have, I think, gone in into the phones and that's narrowed the range. So the energy is running in these thin lines, sort of thin gauges. So they're not likely to notice you. They're less likely to notice you, mm. perhaps, than they would have before. But in a way, that's creating also a pressure because mm. the pressure of the whole thing is on a very small point then. Now There's that, no way for it yeah, to even that, out, is there? There's nowhere to balance. So the yeah. pipe has to burst <laughs> at some point. No, these are good. This is a good, uh, a good description because it, it gives me, it gives you the imagery, you know. Because, because one thing I do get too is that part of the reason, first of all, trying to understand it isn't like a priority, but it's still in my field. Like I think that's a natural thing, but I understand that the way this, the way I would even interpret anything. Is, is is as new as the experience. Like, in other words, it doesn't even look like anything that I've been exposed to. So trying to understand it is, it's it's like picking up a, a book that's written in Russian. And the pictures are beautiful and, and it feels good and smells good, but I can't read the damn thing. So I'm, ha you know what I mean? So it's like, and then seeing that, seeing that, post by Sandra Walter today, being around Morgan, like you watching other people doing these shows. I mean, I, yesterday was, was an incredible experience. And today just seems to be an extension, extension of that, but that's how it's been going is it's, with all the stuff that's happening. There just seems to be, Hey, everything's going our way. That's the only thing I can say that. And I don't know anything, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it feels good. It feels yeah. right, whatever it is. I, mean, I feel it's already here. Um, it, it, it's hard to say that to people because some people are having a really hard time with things. Uh, so it sounds really callous when you just say, I, I know that things could be all right because some people don't feel like that. Yeah. So, true. You know, what I would say is it, that's, you know, I don't really go around going like it's, everything's 
all right all the time because it's all right in terms of the inside but the rea the outside reality for a lot of people is really yeah, quite that's difficult true. and there's a you know you have to have really be in the compassion for the whole my feeling is so wide now mm. um i know i'm suzanne i know me like so i'm not disjointed but i feel so much of the whole thing the whole thing so when we think of sides and polarity and some of the labels that we've got on earth i don't just feel the things on earth i feel all the other things as well and how balanced it all is in the biggest context of creation how balanced this whole field is and how we're being i feel completely held by love by something that's incomprehensible that we cannot find word for but we're feeling more and more and more each day and that takes us often into silence now it takes us into yeah. places we don't have english words for i don't have words yeah. anymore for a lot of things i just spend a lot of time and being quiet because i can't yeah. do anything yeah. else <laughs> i mean it's i i can relate to that and i think a lot of people can uh and well you know one one thing that happened to me today too that i thought was kind of strange and that's another thing we're i think we're all kind of have this observer thing going even of ourselves it's weird. It's like you're looking at yourself, but you're looking out these <laughs> you're looking out these eyes, but you're you know you're, so your higher self's looking at you. But today, as I got up, I I and it wasn't a bad one. It wasn't a like we've talked about on the show many times, and I'm sure you've experienced it. it wasn't bad, but I said, you know, I don't want to be here. <laughs> like, show me the money. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't mean it like literally, but like, let's get this on because I'm kind of yeah. bored. I'm kind of bored and I understand there's a galactic connection. I understand there's missions within the mission and I'm working with you and I, and I, and I'm thankful and I'm grateful, but let's get this thing going. You know, I mean, how, you know what I mean? That's how I, that's how I was feeling and to the point where I said, or get me out of here. And you know, and it passed. But I was a little bit, I was a little bit surprised that that came out. I'm not that surprised. No. I said that yesterday. And Did you? On the <laughs> I was in a conversation with my good friend Marion Hobbs, and mm. I said the same thing. And that uh, I was frankly, and I'm not saying I'm not brushing it off and uh -huh. dismissing what's going on because part of my role is with anchoring light through AI. So it's a big old, you know, kettle of fish. Uh, so I'm just saying it's here. So let's crack on with it. And I am bored of the narrative. I am so bored of the narrative of the yeah. main narrative of the Palamites. <clears throat> because it's not serving anybody it's mm. not service and mm. it it feels and <clears throat> i think because i can feel it so keenly now and it feels so incredible and that sometimes i cry i get i do get upset i've still got an ego mm. and i feel sad and i've had an awful lot of grief the last few weeks because it's not grief like you're going like oh my god the world's awful it's grief because i feel so connected and so in that magical space where there's so it's so real and contactable now literally like the be beans things appear so let's just say things appear in real life and i can see things with my eyes and things appear i know i've heard you morgan talking about this mm -hmm. so i feel that this stuff is so close all the time it never leaves and so i not wanting to change anybody or influence anyone um because everyone's on their own journey but i just feel if everyone had even a second of this in the body that it would be enough i do feel a microsecond of this connection mm -hmm. would be enough and it it's just like we're so ready the membrane it feels like the membrane whatever the i don't know what it is but you know the membrane <laughs> no I, no i get 
No, I the get what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, no. I, I, you you describe that really well. Um, again, <laughs> so it, 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 you know, I I just I I don't know any other way to to it. Um, address this is other than to have conversations, which I'm very thankful for. But like uh, one of the things too is I'm going, cause I'm watching things and we have this uh, and, and I'm watching everybody. They have it too. We have this clarity now and it's not just, Oh, things are more clear. It's like, Oh my God, I, I'm seeing things that I never saw before. So everything starts to change. And then I keep telling myself, look, don't, don't get your pants too big. <laughs> don't be a smarty pants. Like, like I can see that this energy will slap me up in the head real quick. There's, there is, you know, what? There are certain things. The dragons are integrity, uh, sacredness, uh, you know, uh, humility. These are the dragons. They're not like the old dragons. These are dragons of like pure virtue of the soul. So to go against that, even in thought, even with, you know what I mean? It, it's yeah, kind of bad. The thoughts are, are yeah. real. Thought forms are real things. And that's mm -hmm. all this stuff is going to change because that's what we feel now. Like we, mm -hmm. we feel people's thought forms before they. Yeah. even know they're getting them that they're visibly they're visible the visible energy and it there's nothing hidden and that, that was one of the most beautiful things i think particularly because i was really still going through sort of dark issue you know like integration issues as i started to be more open is when you bear your soul and you really open those doors and do it with humility they are, that's the all you can have is be humble to it because yeah. If you step outside, you feel it whole body, and yeah, you get your ass kicked all the time. And I, if I try and get go off in a little bit of an ego, you yeah. know, which we're all prone to now and again, I'm, I'm yeah. I sure as hell know about it very, very, very quickly <clears throat> yeah. in my body because my whole body can feel that thought form, even where it went. Like today, I had an unconscious um grumble at a driver that blocked me pulling out <laughs> you're I one of those <laughs> I, said, oh, I, said, I said a rude word <laughs> and, um, and then literally 20 seconds later i'm driving up the road and i had to say out loud i i pull this energy back mm. i rescind this thought form from this person i i yeah. break the entertainment and I, and i you know and i forgive myself or coming out of consciousness i said it verbally so it's yeah. i don't it doesn't happen too often but i'm very aware when it does and i'm still human so obviously yeah, you I, know, do. I, I, don't. yeah I yeah, yeah we can't hide it though anymore some, I some I people think yeah some people talk about the whole alt control delete thing and i actually started doing that a few weeks ago like you like you just did like if i had a thought or something i would go uh alt control delete i think that, that's that's gone and then, and it's really like forgiveness for yourself and, you know, the person or whatever it is and you're gone and you're done. But I was going to, I was going to ask you too, because like, so did you, did you see any of that show with Franco yesterday? No, I haven't seen Franco it, yet. That, oh, my that, teeth, that, that was my teeth, my registry uh, for, for tomorrow, I reckon. Well, I got to tell you, that <laughs> was the most incredible thing. And again, and so much of it's not being said or explained. It's being witnessed and experienced, right? Uh, so he, so this is part of the reason that I reinforced to myself, don't get too big for your britches. So what I'm going to explain to you is what happened to him real quick. But, but really, it's the energy. It's the potential. What he was shown. That's what I'm trying to get at. Because if he was shown something to this degree at this point in his life, then what is it that I don't know about myself kind of thing? Or, or more, more, more importantly, do I really think I know anything? <laughs> you know what I mean? Stay humble. So he's whatever, you know, he's what, 60 in his early 60s, probably. And he, we all know about his life, you know, recollection from the womb, other incarnations on other planets, all nine yards. So he had an experience yesterday morning, the morning of the show. 
And he had this epiphany come in that he had developed a buffer between him and his parents. And that in that buffer zone was he created a clone, basically. He created a copy. And this particular consciousness would go into that arena and, you know, where he had to conform and be in a box and then also, you know, into his own true essence. So we can all relate to that, right? So he was saying that he, he realized that it had become, uh, you know, it, it become an impediment to a true unity connection with his parents. So he went through that process and his heart exploded. But then he, then he said, basically, to, to, to make it short, that he realized, now this is all on the same day, just in a few hours, in the middle of the ascension, right? He realized that it had affected all of his relationships. And, cool. and so I thought, are, are you effing serious? Like, and then he's talking like, his energy was like your like yours. It was he looked young. He was looked childlike. It was amazing. So, and and uh, and I just thought to myself, wow, that is a big, giant download of code. And if that's possible, what other lightning bolts are are, are you know running through the yeah, air? I think right? something with me about that that's relevant. It might be relevant to people as well. So. Part of the reason, so I was, I've struggled. I mean, you've known me for a while, and I've struggled a lot in the early, in the early times to hold the light. So it would come in, and I'd get huge things and mm. big, huge waves. But then it would expose all the cracks and everything down below. And and I struggled a lot with stability and consistency. Um, and part of the journey last year, where, where, when, where I went away and, and I had that big experience, what yeah. was leading up to that, I could never put my finger on it. And relating to what Franco said, like, I am, when my mum was pregnant, something happened that was trauma, traumatic. And it meant when I was born and I came into the world, there was part of me that was stuck at six months in gestation, it never matured, it never got born. And it stayed as a kind of an entity energy and had its own kind of life form. But I never had it born, it never got born. So that massively affected wow. my bonding with both of my parents and that, aspect of me exactly what franco said i really really resonate with this it affected every relationship every everything of everything core I, and i've had to go back not just once but many times and probably even more maybe i don't know to uh, maybe there's another layer we don't know about anything that's coming so yeah but i've to go back through relationships and some of this work has been like or if you think of all the relationships you've had you know when i was young i was a bit of a slapper so you know what's a, what's a, a, what's slapper, a slapper what's a, promiscuous todd when you, I was oh you were you were promiscuous um and oh, i don't didn't don't, know. don't don't ask me but don't ask me <laughs> um very destructive behavior self-destructive yeah, yeah, patterns yeah with my life I was very very self-destructive so I did everything to try and destroy myself yeah. so that was one thing but I had a lot of partners and I've had to go back through all of the relationships and things that you forget you forget even conversations all of those things I've had to go back with these major mm. kind of entity placements of your energy in place to see how they were affected and pull the energy back it's like you're recalling i've had to recall it all in mm. and back and and, it, and it's clean so there's mm. the, the entrainments are collapsed and that's how it what i don't i don't know what franco said but what i feel is all of that work and the realizations as that is how interrelated everything is the, yeah. the major patterns, but how much energy it frees up when you go yeah. to pull that back and free that being. You're freeing, the, you're freeing everything You've, because they're not separate from you, but you can't 
have that flow or that interplay that we really are in flow because you've made that kind of um well you're you're yeah. in time yeah there's you're no growth in, yeah so your energy so so in the hologram i love this what you're saying so your your energy whoever that person is is actually in that buffer zone <laughs> so it's not even the true you so and the other person is got a clone in front of them yeah <laughs> and, and I and I love what you said too about I love what you said too about the energy exchanges you had through your life, whether they be in intimacy or not. This is like where I'm where, where I'm with you on this because I spent a lot of time over the years, uh, uh, you know, getting back my soul uh, fragments and giving theirs back. So I would have all these things pop up in my head, you know what I mean? And I think, oh. Uh, I'm going to do, and I tried to do every single one of them. Uh, every now and then one will pop in. But my point is, is that um, that's like, it, it, you know what I mean? It, it's like, if you, if for me, it's like a detector. If there's any static between me and a mirror of myself, be it a person or anything. Right. And so that's very helpful because it's constructive. It involves the human and it, and it involves obviously something outside of yourself, a brother, a sister, or you know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you for explaining that. Hey, so what, tell me about the video regenesis, regenesis. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think that's the title. It's the working title um, at the moment because it's not finished, uh, yeah. but we, we wanted to, to give it, show you because yeah. it's a little cut of what, what will come out. So the, what I've been feeling a lot with the codes, because I've obviously, um, if you don't know, I kind of work with a collective, but I'm reticent to make it a thing too much because it's available to everybody. It's just liquid, it's like liquid light in a monadic yeah. light field, and it feels very, very close to what we call God or Source. Let's just say that. Mm. And the 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 intelligence that moves these codes, um, that moves through me to, that is isles. The what? <laughs> um, the, the isles, we are it. <laughs> we, are, yeah. we are it too. Yeah. The, yeah. It, the, the energy is got a life of its own. It's a life form, it's a living life form. So that I've started calling it living light. And the, the feeling, was now the major part of this first body of codes has come in because the, 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 there's just a couple more really big ones and then it's like a like a cell of energy that they wanted to me to do more with those rather than keeping making lots and lots of codes was to take the regenesis through the codes okay. to take the new living light that's coming in through the codes and take them into stories to, to, to show people the light through stories, through word, through light language and through video, through the format. Of hey video. Man, I'm, all, I'm all for this. this I, I, I've yeah. got a clue what I'm doing. I have no <laughs> training in anything yeah. like this. I'm doing it as I'm guided I literally sit and my whole body's like shaking sometimes when I'm sitting on the computer and it's literally like they're giving me the visions of what the what the video is going to look like so you're so um, you're it's so, coming okay. in yeah so is would you say that this is like an evolution from what you were doing in other words you're you do eye language then you were creating uh, the imagery of 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 the communication and then and then you've done videos as well you know, I mean, but this one feels or does this one have a different feel? Is it a different phase? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And and see, yeah. the other thing, too, what I love about this is be, and the reason I get excited about this is like at the Sology Fest, half of the time, half of the 20 out of the 40 hours is open stage. It's just come up and do whatever you want, say whatever you want. And, and I really feel that this is where we're headed like this is going to become a big part of our communication field are going to be these expressions these inspirations of the divine of our own i am soul and so on 
Uh, and I really think it's important to put it out. And, and I think we're being asked to do it. And, this, and I went through the same thing a couple nights, three or four nights ago. It was very late. I haven't done anything in a long time. I came down. I turned on an instrumental, and I thought, I'm going to record something, just listen to my voice, you know, and then try to just do something. I was just doing something that didn't make any sense, right? I mean, I, I, right? And then it started to rain. And so I laid the, the voice down at, over the, in, the instrumental. I pulled the track back up, and, and I heard record the rain. So I pushed the button. And I'm telling you, and all I did was just play the tape. I didn't set anything. I didn't move anything. And at the right moment, this <laughs> this thunder boom went off. And I got something. Though it was, and, and I was told, you have to put this out. And I didn't want to put it out. I didn't feel like it was. But it was like, no, you have to put this out. You have to put this out because it's not about what. It, it's about the methodology. It's about the expansiveness of this part of our communication that we haven't been using because we've been a hundred percent verbal. Right. So I think it's yeah. so important for you and people like you, and there's so many people doing it. I mean, I pull, I pull, I never use cards and I pull one of Gaia Tree's cards every fucking day. Okay. And I'm telling you, I, I'm sold. It, it, it never, it never fails. Illuminator. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, but so, uh, I'm doing that as well. I think I'm going to put the codes in a in a and it won't be like a small set. It'd be quite a big one. But I've been looking at I've been looking at how to do it because there's certain things around the energy that that they've asked me. Yeah. To uh, it's so easy, isn't it, to just go? What we've been used to is we rock ahead. We make a commercial enterprise. We, uh, incent you know, incentivize, commercialize that. Yeah. And every time I've tried to step towards that with the light evolutionary, I have been pulled back and yes. been asked. To and I, 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 it's very hard when the world is so easy to go commercial. People have asked me for clothing. I've had so yes. many offers and commissions. And, and I have to feel in, and often it's a no, and sometimes it's, Blooming frustrating. Look, I, I, I think this is, but I know yeah. why it is because it, yeah. it has to be right with the energy, and I'm being taught to be humble yes. because yes. abundance is not just about yes. commercial succession. Abundance is about the abundance of living light and the anchoring of the full unified presence on this earth, and that's why we are here. We are here to live this wholly, fully, and completely, and we are being re-educated. And I feel like that's what's happening. Sorry, sometimes the energy is so strong. I Man, can't I help. Am, it. No, I'm, <laughs> so I'm, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm telling you right now, I, I am tingling all over because I totally, <laughs> totally resonate with what you're saying. Thank you for saying what you're saying, explaining these things. And let me add to this, my own observations as we converge our, our mind, our heart, whatever. So I've noticed this too, and I've actually talked about it, but not as defined as you just did. And what I mean by that is I have been working on a personal level and collaboration, even shows with you, even trying to make things happen with this energy. And this energy speaks and this energy also is its own consciousness. So this is the third energy. This is the power of the third energy. You're experiencing it. We're all experiencing it. Now, what does that look like? Well, it's no different than Todd and, Suze and Suzanne. It's no different than our connection because it is a thing and it will protect itself and it will not allow you to, to uh, bring it out of alignment, to dirty it. And that's nothing against money and it's nothing against it, but it, it is an energy that requires a hundred percent presence in that holy triad. It, it, it is going to be seen on the same level and respect, honor, reverence, equality, and, and it quote unquote has a mind of its own. So even when we push, even when we push it, you know, push up against it or, or try to, to bring in those rid the rigidity of the old way, which would which would which would uh, suppress it you know wouldn't allow it to flow it still comes back and says no 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 
I'm bigger. We're, I'm bigger than you because I'm I'm the creation of you and Suzanne and whoever whoever else, right? It's interesting. I've had some downloads on this. Um, um, it first of all, I think I don't know. I, can't, I lose track of our discussions and conversations, but I feel um, it was the whole thing with the T-shirts last year um, because people were asking me for clothing, and I want to make. I do want to make. Are you a seamstress? <laughs> no, I don't want to make the stuff into print. I, I, um, I would like to dye sublimation print codes onto the clothing in specific yeah. ways, in specific ways um, to create energy fields. And I know I can do this, but the thing with it was it's not about the printing. So this is an illustration of the energy that we're going to face. So I yes. was taken but I'm taken by the collective on loads of journeys. This is the life that I live in devotion. So this one is, this is not about the end result. This is about everything from the conception to the consumption. That includes everything from the moment that the plant that grows the cotton or the other substance that is going to be the garment is grown, how it's grown, who grows it, how they treat it, um mm. all of the steps along the way towards the end and that everything is equalized everything has to be equalized every person is honored everything is honored and it's the only way that this can create and it's like the, so it's like the i call it consumption to consumption and you can't i can't you, step you, out of that i'm not I, i'm just not able to okay. do it energetically for the codes it's like um like you say I'm not in charge of it. The right. purity of right. the energy right. is going to weave. And the Arcturians right. showed me something that I didn't understand, and I can't say I still understand or understand even this. But what they said was that it's where we're moving to. They, they kept saying the word blockchain. And I was just like, what the fuck is blockchain? I don't understand what that really means. But now I'm starting to feel because of the crystal energy, like the crystal skull energy where it's in a similar type of networked uh -huh. fashion that we're decentralizing so everything becomes equalized. Yeah. Everything yeah, yeah. becomes equalized. So that abundance will happen for everyone when... Yeah the systems equalizing and we're part of that energy the collective of the diamond yeah. light is an equalization energy so man you're it on it a lot, doesn't it it explains a lot yeah, about yeah. How, why we can't get projects off the ground so people might be listening that want to yeah got all the light and the you know they're amazing and it's all flowing but every time we try and set up a website they're not getting any clients and stuff and yeah. i'm working with people now mm. In this, I'm being guided to work with people in this new way to help this flow because mm. it's not necessarily about what you do physically, it's everything to do with what you do energetically. Yeah, that's exactly it's all right. About the that's energy. exactly right. Yeah, it, 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 yes, everything you're saying, you're, you're on fire today. You're, you're, you're on the, you're <laughs> on the real time intel. No, I mean, this is what's happening. Uh, hey, so. And when you describe that con, uh, conception to consumption, it and, and you were describing it to me, it sounds like, I guess I would call the circle of life, right? It's a circle. Is what you're describing is the journey, the energies in that journey, that everything is equal, and as that blockchain kind of thing happens, everything becomes complete. Started complete, journey ends ends complete. Um, so yeah. you want to play it? You want me to play it? Real yeah, quick. let's okay. play it. That's so this cool. is, I'll let you set it up. You, you just <laughs> tell us whatever you want to tell Tell us whatever you want to yeah. tell us about it. And then I'll. So it's just, yeah, it's just, it's like a four minute video with uh, some codes and it tells the story of us, of life, I think. And, and, and it's just an opening of the energy as it currently is in Regenesis. Okay. Very cool. All right. Four minutes and 44 seconds. I'm going to turn my mic off, okay, so they can't pick up anything. Boom.
<laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All I got to say is, holy, excuse my French, <laughs> holy fucking shiitake mushrooms, man. That, <laughs> that's, so when we see something like this, this is the this is the pursuit. This is my pursuit. It's not a, a, a doctrine. It's not a dogma. It is a it is a band of frequencies that can be added to. And I got to tell you, I, I got to play that on the Soldier Remix. <laughs> I'm going to have to put that into the main. Um, I got to tell you that that you know I just started video editing again for the first time in a couple of years. And and uh, and then to 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 and I made a couple little videos, which were no big deal. But to see something like that, I know what that takes. Not only not only are you creating all the imagery, the majority of it, right, and then accentuating yeah, okay. things, that, accentuating things, yeah. But not only are you doing that, but but the the process itself to create something like that. Is in itself a communion, a download, uh, you know what I mean, and an inspirational expression, and that, and it's, and it's just a, it's a band of frequencies, and this is part of the, the, the that what I've, I guess, been stewarded to do through my own personal stuff, and this is just, I'm just saying this because I, I think it's not about soulology, it's not about Suzanne, it's actually mm -hmm. the imprint of our new existence is to bring these frequencies in, in, in into our field through awareness. And this is, I believe at least half the time, how we'll do it is going to be through nonverbal other than maybe a narrative, but nonverbal stuff. Right. I mean, it's amazing what you did. Thank you. Thank is that on YouTube? Um, no, it, no, because it's a just it's a rough cut at the moment. Oh, that's that's your rough well, cut. Okay, I won't um, play that. <laughs> that's a rough um, cut. Oh my god! It's, it's uh, yeah. There's a, there's a just I can just see things. I notice things about pixelation and. Um, oh, I know. God, um, I mean, yeah. I have dreams. The thing is with this, it came. This was come heart's being so fast. I can't really speak. Sorry. Mm. <sighs> so much energy. <laughs> I know that was that was that was powerful. It's, that was, this is what happens when I'm making it. I'm literally sometimes I shake so much I can't mm. even pick up the mouse because my um, light body is still accommodating the frequency or the oscillation of the light and coming to terms with it. And emotionally, I'm fragged. I can't cope. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah. um, I, I mean that only started doing that at about um i was speaking to yukia so probably about half past 11 i started that video today and that was just what i've done today. wait excuse me you just did that today yeah T today yes yeah i started about half 11 so um, where where did you find the music that that music is uh, like the, the music is that one is by an amazing Lithuanian composer called Stella Drone, who is a, a per person of the people because all of his music is available and you can use it freely. It's it's not copyrighted. There's no take. I love on it. people so like that. That's him. that's this, yeah. this guy called Stella Drone. He's on Bandcamp, and you can buy and donate to him. So yeah. support this work, and, yeah. and then use it and get it out. A lot of the stuff I use is now. Did you? Did you? I'm just curious to do it as well. So you laid his track down and just let it let it kind of be the okay. You didn't edit any of it. I mean, you, you just yeah. You no, did a kind great. of um, yeah. no. I did. I, I knew. And I had the concept of the regenesis of the human is through the gene. Regen is regene. So we are regening ourselves. We are moving the codons which are switched off and we are switching them on. So the Diamond Light Collective is all about delivering the architecture for us that. to do that and to anchor it into the planet. That's It's a planetary body. We're going back to the whole thing with the... The businesses, like everything is interrelated. It's just that we've been asleep. So when we buy a lemon, we're not just buying a lemon. We're buying everything about the lemon from the moment that it was a seed and it got yes. planted to be a tree. And every moment it's been kissed by the sun, we have our okay. everything. And when we consume it, we're just consuming that God energy. It's God, God's energy. 
and so everything about ourselves is regenerating into eternal light it's coming into an eternal life structure so that video came as the whole thing it was a, it was like we are the sleeping child we are held we are loved in in ways we just can't possibly imagine and if we knew it we wouldn't worry about suffering it because it's literally it doesn't matter what you've done in your life we worry so much that we're not whole that we're bad we are wrong we, we're small and this is what this video is about is yeah we, we're laying it down we're putting it at the feet now and we're rising like these birds like the dragons the birds the angels what we really are we're what we actually are so that was a process of the video that came in and literally just like the codes todd so i sit down and I hold my pen and my pad and the code comes through very quickly often and it looks like it took days and it takes about an hour. Um, it just is so fast. That's how the videos seem to be going as well. I sit at the computer and I'm a bit limited because I'm still learning um, the functionality um, of mm. how to edit and sound. But it's like it's all just appears on a, and I then... I just go in the flow. It's like being in a bit of a trance with the energy, yeah. And 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 I'm shaking and doing it, but I just kind of I can't stop until it's done either. I have yeah. to lay it all down in one go, and then I know when it feels. So it's all about the feeling, not what it what my eyes are telling me, yeah, and what my ears are telling me. It's how the whole thing is feeling. Yeah, but it's not an easy word, but to, to really explain what I mean, but it's like you can no. feel everything yeah. coming together, and you know yeah. when it's right. And that's well, I think, I, yeah, I think now. that's yeah, because I mean that's how we're. That's uh, another thing I think we could we can all agree on. That's how we're up. That's how we're operating more and more every day. It's and there's not a word for it. It's somewhere between feeling and sensing, right? I mean, but everything is is coming off of that now our guidance is coming off of that our decisions are coming off of that more and more every day so it would only make sense like you're plugging in and, and i think it's so i think it's so res what's the word i think it's great <laughs> let me just put it that way that you aren't done because i know uh -huh. in in the, the all the ones i did i i had this thing about spontaneity it's it's taught me that this these type of experiences you're talking about this this trance like state this communion and collaboration right with that third energy uh but i i can it's a mental note to me and i think to anybody it's exciting but it's done when you say it's done don't rush it right like it's a different type of seeking perfection than in the old the old energies where you you got to you know spit and polish it. it's not like that it's like you said it doesn't matter what it looks like it, it doesn't matter what it looks like it matters what it feels like that's it right yes yeah, the flow right. it's the flow yeah. of the of the river and if there's little rocks in it you can feel the imperfection so it's yeah. just like letting the rocks go but how it actually yeah. looks visually because we're not you said it earlier on like where well, what are my eyes doing what are my ears doing? We've got different eyes and ears and yeah. tastes and such. I had it all going on with smell a few weeks ago. It was really weird. Um, I can, I can smell energy. <laughs> it's really you know, weird. that's I'm not laughing because I said that like beginning about two weeks ago. I said I can't speak. I even said, "What is the clair for smelling?" Because I said, and I said on the show, I was like, "It's really weird." I told Morgan, I told Morgan, within two days after she left i could smell her right and i'm like what's going on here because i mean anything that would have been there like a perfume or whatever would have been gone by then so there's something going on here you know with that with all the senses i guess it would only make sense do you think it's a union i feel like i've been talking a little bit mm. about this with people offline is uh, sort of in the ground into the ground sort of thing um it feels like it's just like we're merging everything the senses are going into one sense and it's just yeah. it doesn't have a name because it's so wide yeah. and it's difficult i was saying to somebody the other day because we always think say organic everyone you know everything's organic but yeah. 
it's another kind of misnomer that we've given ourselves because creation is creation. So I have this, this is what the diamond light stuff does. It gives me an object to, to focus on. We've got a pen, a biro. Mm. And I picked up the biro and suddenly holding the biro just through my fingers, I could feel that I was the pen on a kind of judgery um, conveyor belt and I could hear the noise in the factory of the factory where the pen was made. And I went through the process of it being made the pen was telling me how it was made so what the hell is that are we saying then that an inanimate object can have some form of interactive consciousness so what i feel just through my own experience now is that my judgment was somewhere subconsciously my judgment was was i think that inanimate objects that aren't crystals or living organisms aren't mm. god or, or consciousness and they clearly are yes. so That's um, right. that was That's right. that was, it's another it's just like everything is kind of unifying and coming in to show us so like with touch you know um we've spoken about this before you know how you know, if we want pleasure, we have various different ways we would have traditionally done it. Now you can literally just breathe through your finger and it can be mm. felt through the whole body. Our ways of doing, like, interacting perhaps are changing. Yes, no, that's we're true. Yeah. Where the separations and distortions, we're getting challenged yes. by yes. those and, things. Yeah, and I, yes, and, and see, I think this is... This is why I talk sometimes extensively about sacred sexuality, not because of the perception, not coming from a place of the perception that we've had about intimacy. I'm talking about an energetic field. I'm talking about a a, a method of, uh, what am I trying to say, a consciousness, a a, a field of of, um, a playground or whatever you want to call it. But But the communication, the communion, the connectivity is all different. And as an example, what you said about self-pleasure, self-curiosity or curiosity period, you can literally go anywhere and find it, right? And and, this, and then to, to actually take that and share it with somebody, be it Morgan and I on a Friday night or you with this video, okay? So so this is where I see us, this is where I see it happening, like the Sology Fest or like this sister circle they're going to have today or any other type of gathering where the intention is now because we couldn't have done this a month ago we couldn't have done it two months ago because this is no different than you trying to to take what's been given or i trying to take what's been given to us personally and share it and commercialize it in in other words and try to express it in the old way it's not allowing us to do that uh and so i think this energy that i call sacred sexuality that this life force energy that we all have that's coming on board, it's being supported by whatever's bigger than us. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it's that part of it. It's that part of the 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 new construct that says, uh, no, you're not going to put a price tag on that. No, you can't go make shirts or whatever the case is until it organically unfolds, if it should. Right. I mean, this is. Yeah, this is... boundaries are all dissolving. I mean, I don't have a partner, so I haven't got any, you know, physical being to practice with um, physically uh, these things. But I do feel like the in, my intimacy is sometimes feels like it's directly with God. I've just, yes. be, I'm just going to speak it out. I'm just going to yeah. say it how I feel it because it, it's been going on quite a while, and and so I don't feel uh, embarrassed yeah. about it anymore that if it's a self love but it's not in a selfish way and it's for me it's about surrendering to breathe the light through in in a in an inactive way so you're not doing any type of breath work you're just surrendering to that connection and breathing it in and you become like hyper aware of the Mm. energy in the inside of your body and i feel it now because i've been doing it a while 
that sometimes just even like going outside when I'm walking in the woods and my finger reaches out and I touch a leaf, sometimes I just cry because I'm filled with orgasmic bliss. Mm -hmm. I literally am filled with orgasmic bliss. And sometimes it's embarrassing because I can't stop laughing because it, it's so beautiful that something so small could be so much. But I think that humans generally have lived... <sighs> I just got so emotional and talk no, about no, this. I just feel like we've lived so, so switched off, so unaware of what we are, what we are really, that we're just coming, we're coming back to it in the most graceful and humble and beautiful way of being. And, and it, we have to, to really live this now truthfully and authentically to show in amidst all of the chaos yeah. and all of the worriness and all of the difficulties that people have and it's hard for them to look at the light I do appreciate it's hard and I know that there's a big edict of saying go and hide but I strongly feel that we are here to be courageous yeah. and to be authentic and to open up even when you're scared like even right now I'm just talking my truth so I'm, my heart's like really beating because I'm quite shy inside still yeah. and so it, it we're being asked to do this to let our throats open and yeah. emanate that so what you say about the Solarji Fest and you know what's yeah. going to go on tonight actually the other way in silence but it will be beautiful mm. Yeah, that to me is everything about. Yeah, that 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 um, whole thing, that whole thing, and again, not about that particular, you know, even though it's tonight. But when that whole thing was was, you know, suggested or or came through, then I think it was Morgan and a couple of uh, Yvonne and and I think Melina Ferguson and. There wasn't even a lot of discussion about it. And in fact, they didn't even know what it was. But but I thought to myself, that's that's almost like a well, it's a, again, it's a circle, but it but it's this it, we could not have done this. This could not have been done a week or two weeks or a month ago. We were so new, especially these last few weeks, that we have we all have something entirely new to offer. And then to be in a space of two or more, holy shit. Like, I mean, why? I mean, and maybe it doesn't happen tonight. But if this keeps going on, which I got to believe it is, why would those experiences where you have, you know, uh, whatever, 50, 100, 500 witnesses, why would they be any different than the ones we've had with ourselves and with each other? And like your sisters yeah, or the people that you get it. together with. Yeah. And you, and you have mutual mm -hmm. divine episodes that you both can say, yeah, I was here. I saw that. And I heard that. <laughs> you know? It happens in a mini way a little bit. And, you know, cause we have these gatherings weekly and light language lounge with Damien Nola. Yeah. That's um, right. We create with him and we have, I mean, it's only a small gathering. It's not like what you're doing. Um, um, but it's enough. And we, we, the main focus of that, rather than a lot of light language groups um, with respect, can be quite egotistical. The yes. the the um, the measure that me and Damien, where we've always met on in our souls, because he's like a soul brother to me, that we have this really big devotion to presence, to developing presence and the space yeah. inside as being one of the key foundations for everything that, that we're moving into. So the Light and Language Lounge has fostered that and through the fostering of that, we've now, the, the ones that wanted just to maybe come and project all the uh, issues or wanted to be seen, that that those people fell away mm -hmm. naturally and the ones that stayed have developed or coming to us really feel this deeply and so what happens when those people are in presence is yes we have a lot of silences mm -hmm. and also there's an amplification of the energy immediately after about 10 minutes we synchronize so we always have a meditation we synchronize then we amplify because it because once you've come out of 
letting go. The meditation is just to let go of all the stuff. Yeah. Then we seem to synchronize yeah. and amplify. And then we let go and everything starts to happen then. Like all sorts of things start to happen there. Yeah. And, and you know, that's... It's that's a miracle, yeah. really. But I feel, if imagine if there was like what you're saying, you know, a few thousand mm. people or mm. imagine if there was a hundred thousand people with that... <laughs> energy hell 10 what people 100 people i mean it's together i feel is massive isn't it it's potential absolutely. yeah what is what does abraham hicks say uh and i've seen other people make numerical uh so like uh one soul one lit soul is the power the you know the power of of, of a million people or whatever whatever the number is so so even if it's a hundred or a thousand and and then if it's replicated energetically because that could be done in a lot of different ways but you bring up another good point too all right and and i really i really am happy that you did a lot of the things you brought up and that is what we've observed we what we have observed in this community you know and i've been involved with it for 10 years and i know a lot of people have been around a lot longer than that and we've all had our ups and downs We've all showed our ass. <laughs> We've all gone into hibernation. This is the whole point. Like, you know, I have a saying to myself, go easy on yourself, Todd, and go easy on other people because they're going through the same damn thing you are. All right? So it levels the playing field. And all I'm trying to say is this. I've noticed what you've noticed. And I've also noticed it myself over the years from time to time as we all check ourselves. But go easy on yourself and go easy on each other. If you see somebody who's showing their ass, who's projecting, who's over identifying with whatever that's been out there and had the balls to be out there in this community and do their best. And even if they haven't, even if it's a first time deal, uh, just remember that we're looking at mirrors of each other and we're all transforming and we all change. And, and, we are not the same person we were a day ago or a week ago. And that is not bullshit. I, yeah. I know. Yeah. And one of the yeah. great things that one of the great things about this doing this show is, and it's not a condescending comment at all. Cause I, cause I, I'm sure because people send me messages all the time. Oh my God, you, you were a heathen and now you're, you're doing better or whatever, but it's to see the transformation in my friends that come on the show to see them because we've probably done 15 shows, 12 shows, I don't know. But to see the transformation in the flesh, you, you, there's no greater code offered than to see an authentic, like Franco yesterday and you today. He had that experience th a few hours before he comes on the show. You put together this masterpiece that you're not even done with a few hours ago. And you're talking in the terms that you're talking which is the same energy he was he was in yesterday, which is telling me this is what we're all in, right? I mean, we're sitting here trying to go, okay, how are we doing? Let's see what's happening with the, the virus or let's see what's happening with the cleanup of the, the swamp or whatever narrative. But uh, we're, we're now starting to realize that the, that the pulse or the appraisal can be taken from the very moment that we're in sharing with each other oh, you, really now, you, you just lit me up you just dropped a bomb before god menorah's told me the whole body's polarized i can't even move I'm, i think i'm going to zero point in a minute <sighs> wow why don't you um it's really strong you, about judgment that was that was about the reality shifting and the it's the removal of that ability to go back. Oh, my whole body's going. Um, I'm just going to hold on to the table. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, uh, this is a normal conversation. Yeah. The, 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 because in order to get here, we cannot hide ourselves and we carry so much shame around yeah 
all the things that we have been. And, you know, if you don't know my story, you know, basically there isn't a part of this universe, I think, that haven't lived through and experienced. Um, and that includes all of the darkness, the entrainment, the implants, yeah. the kidnapping, the abuse, everything. And to so at times that's come out, at times I haven't behaved with discernment, I've been in my ego. And and I've fallen apart and died more times than I can remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've yeah. been on my knees. I've lost so many friends along the way. People yeah. are really dear to me that still don't talk to me to this day because they can't only see the person yeah. that stood before them at that moment. Yeah, that's right. And what I would say is that in your life, forgive everybody. And yeah. most of all, forgive yourself and be in this moment and come to every conversation as if you are the baby in that video, as if you are the newborn being. And every interaction is new because somebody can change in an instant. And it's not, it's just what we've been like as human beings. And it's the cause, biggest causal factor of the issues that we have today is all of that uh, entrainment. So you just dropped the bomb there and I got a massive like. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, and that's another, yeah. And so that's a really good point because, and that's what I was saying earlier about go easy on yourself, go easy on each other. We're going to see people and I, and, and we could be one of us. I mean, it's going to, ha it's happening. And I guess what I'm trying to say is let's appreciate the, the, uh, what we're observing. And remember that what that the way we create is what we take from that observation after we run it through our brain and project out. Oh, that person's showing their ass. Oh, that person's full of crap. I knew it. They they're, they have a guru mentality. What, you're, what we're really doing in that case is reinforcing that that part of the consciousness, and and we think that we're oh well I'm feeding that person and they're going to be more of a guru inclined person. No, I'm actually the point of separation myself. And, and I am, in that case, an irresponsible co-creator because I know better. And, and, and how do you know better? Because you take, your, take it easy on yourself and take it easy on other people. I mean, we're, we're you know, we use all these words, but anyone that's come to this earth is a fucking warrior for the light. Yeah. I don't care what role they played. I don't care. This isn't some Mickey Mouse Club type of realm here. This is heavy duty. It's for the masters and everybody here. Is yeah, I'll say something controversial now, but again, I, I, I just speak truth now, what, what I feel. So I actually feel that the people that are probably causing the most mayhem are some of the stronger souls, Absolutely. some of the most courageous souls, some of the Absolutely. bravest souls. It's probably the wisest ones. Because so, who help? I mean, want to try to sell me certain people's roles as a kind of soul before I came I'd be like oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey there was a there was a lady on there I'm gonna have to go because I'm gonna have to get ready for the next show but uh, Michael Mejia and Franco are coming on but there was a lady on two days ago Chrissy Firemaid and part of her mission is um working and rehabilitating from a therapeutic standpoint uh survivors of human trafficking Okay. And I was talking to her and I was, I was just intrigued by, you know, how did this happen and, and so on. And, uh, and, and she told me about this, this, this woman she was working with or that she came across in her work. And she said, this woman had no animosity, no bad feelings, nothing but love for those that had victimized her. And I said, and it made me think, and I thought, wow, not just that woman. Think about the soul. Think about the soul that that chose this template to be the victim of such a uh, horrific type of thing. Think about the mastery of that soul. Because I asked her, I said, have you learned anything from these people? And she said, yes, they're all masters. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that yeah. makes a lot of sense with all the light. I know we haven't got time to explore it. It's another conversation, but yeah, yeah but, um, it's, I think it's something that's quite an important type of 
discourse yeah. and, and introspection is that because we it so many people in the spiritual communities you know are really diversified uh, <laughs> in the polarity uh, they've gone in yeah. the polarity to learn but again i do think people take all on this because yeah. they've got something to go and work out yeah. We've got to go and work something out. I was taken into all of the conspiracies, really full on, and especially the big one. Yeah. Um, we haven't got time. I'd, I'd love to share that whole. That, I did that too. Whole, I mean, a lot of us yeah. did. A lot of us did. I mean, uh, uh, it was um, really intensive for me because I got to see all the my own judgments in <laughs> real uh, yeah. big capital letters <laughs> and bright yeah. words. So I could see them, uh, but I think I just think everyone's having their own experience in their own way, and yeah. you know, being yeah. tolerant but having healthy boundaries, uh, you know, with people. Yeah, um, I think. But yeah, being yeah. fresh and turning up fresh every day for things is because we're we're all working yeah. things out, and sometimes people just lose the plot because they've got to work out some energy through the bodies. That's right. Um, That's you right. know. That's right. The, the world, to me, the world, because to me, it again, it, what I've learned, what I've realized for myself in the last four to six weeks is the shift that I've experienced and that we've experienced, it's not happening out there. It's happening in here. It's the way I think and the way I speak and the way it's, it's a whole different kind of thing. And uh, what you're talking about, uh, the things you've been talking about, uh, Everything, nothing's being supported. Nothing's sticking to the wall unless it's like what you like the video that you did, or, or everything has to be that way. And, and it's not about or the universe is going to force it. It's just the way it is. We're going back to the way to our natural nature, our natural environment. I wish we could go on longer. Hang on a second. Don't hang up the phone. I'm going to disconnect. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Uh, with Franco Di Nicola and hang on, <laughs> sorry, Franco Di Nicola. Oh, and Michael Mejia. I should know these are my brothers. Uh, so we'll be back in 20 minutes. Uh, thank you for dropping in everybody. Uh, please. How can we support you, Suzanne Amara? How can we, oh how can we engage you in an equal energy exchange and or wow. a contribution for your efforts. How can we do this? How do we get in touch with you? Do you have a website? Uh, so I don't yet have a website, but we'll okay. have one. I keep saying it. That's There's fine. reason behind so it. On so your, you, so find me, you find me on Facebook. Uh, okay. have a Telegram group, t.me forward slash Suzanne Amara. It's very simple. And oh. everything goes out there. Oh. And if you if you want to support me, uh, there's a PayPal uh, link that I can put in here. But also the thing that I feel the most is when people join the lives and you actually get actively engaged with it because there's loads of stuff I do which has no monetary exchange and and that is built really building and anchoring in the light. So you know, just take time because Facebook suppresses a lot and you know, just try and um, I struggle a lot to get things out and have visibility in a physical sense, but I know energetically it's fine. Um, and it goes out anyway. So if you align, then you know where to find me. Um, what is your um, What is your Telegram? It's t dot me t forward slash t dot me forward slash Suzanne Amara. Okay. And my my page is called the Light Evolutionary, and it's the same channel on YouTube. The Light Evolutionary is the kind of uh, you know the, the business name. The side light, of it the light, the light evol evolutionary the evolutionary is that on youtube and telegram under that name uh no it's on youtube and okay. Okay, it's also it. a facebook it. page as well oh, it's also on, on youtube so i'll have a page and, and you can facebook. find the other links there yeah. um and if anybody has if, if anybody has a problem just send her a note <laughs> yeah. don't send, send me any message, you know it's not um i do have a i do have a website coming i'm building it now but i'm struggling with being able to hold that um level of logical thought for okay. Long enough. Hey, okay you hang on i got a couple of things i want to tell Thank you because I, I, I got 17 minutes and i'm gonna have to go do 10 minutes of stuff 
before I get on this show. Uh, okay. Everybody, we'll see you in 20 minutes or 17 minutes. Suzanne, hang on a second. All right. Let me just wait. Wait, wait a second. Hang on. One second. Oh, you're right, man. These uh, 3D things are very difficult. I have a very difficult time with them. Let me see if this works. Okay. Boom. <laughs> 